this is still an active investigation. I am actually standing here at the entrance of Packaging Corporation of America. Now, if you look beyond this fence, we're about a mile away from the actual plant. They've had us uh, moved out here uh, for safety reasons. Right now, we do know that there have been three fatalities as a result of one tank exploding earlier this morning around 11 a.m. Seven others were injured. Those uh, that were injured were transported to local hospitals in the Rapids Parish. Now, uh, right now, this, like I mentioned, is still an ongoing investigation. I'm joined now by Master Trooper Brooke Stavid with State Police. What is the, um, you know, what's the status of the plant at this time? Are they still operating? Yes, the plant's still operating. Uh, our State Police Hazmat Unit, along with OSHA investigators, Beauregard Parish Sheriff's Office, and State Police, I'm sorry, uh, Fire Marshals, are still down there uh, investigating the fire scene. So just that one side of the plane is closed off at this time? Just the place where the accident took place is closed off at this time. Okay, thank you, Trooper David. Now, um, earlier we did speak with Brent Henson with Human Resources with PCA, and he says this is a very difficult time right now for workers and their families. What I want to say in behalf of PCA is uh, there's some families right now that are hurting right now. And, uh, and they need your thoughts and prayers. And, and that's what I suffice it with for right now. Now, at this time, like we said, this is still an ongoing investigation. We are told that the fire where the explosion began has been put out. Uh, be sure to stay tuned to KLFY. We'll continue to update you throughout the newscast. Reporting live in Derrida, Carly Lang, KLFY News 10.